Welcome everybody to Fast Fun Friday, where we make a photo project in no time. I'm so glad you're here, everybody. Um, in this edition, this is like episode seven. This is our seventh awesome thing that we've made um, in 30 minutes or less. So this edition, we are going to uh, learn how to, how to make a blanket. And I say blanket and you think you know, oh yeah, I know what a blanket is. No, these are amazing. <laughs> Um, so it's, it's just a wonderful way to showcase photos and memories. Um, we'll look at a bunch of different kinds, including, um, the three that I have pictured here, <clears throat> that one down at the bottom is actually an outdoor blanket. There's something special about that. Um, the one on the right is, uh, a no sew t-shirt blanket. So instead of you know, cutting up t-shirts and sewing them all together. You take pictures of them. <laughs> so easy peasy. Um, and then uh, this this darling little um, baby growth one here uh, that's personalized. So uh, for Fast Fun Friday, we keep the fast in Fast Fun Friday um, by using Forever's free online platform, which is called Design and Print. So all you have to do is just choose a, a template and some photos and some text and you're done. Um, you'll notice that some like two of the ones that I have here actually don't even, well, I guess one, um, don't even have photos. So you can do some with or without photos, um, but personalize either one. And then I'm going to mention just another option for, for more personalization beyond templates in case that's what you would like. All right, let's get going, you guys. Okay. So how to participate in Fast Fun Friday. I know some of you attending um, already have a forever account, uh, but for those who don't, and also for, for those who might be watching the recording later who don't, um, here's what you need. You need two things to uh, participate in this Fast Fun Friday. The first one is a forever account, which is free. Um, and so if you don't have one, you can just open yours at um, that website right there in black. That's my website that will connect you to me. And um, I will put um, a live link in the chat here. And then also for the recording, I will um, just put a live link in the in the comments of the of the recording. So here's the cool thing. New uh, Forever accounts receive a $20 coupon via email. Um, it's good for 60 days. You just have to check your email and verify it, and then you'll get that coupon. So you can use that $20 toward your blanket. Um, and then the second thing you need to do in order to participate with us today is to upload your photos to your forever account. Those of you attending live, I'll walk you through that if you haven't done it before. Um, and those um, watching this recording, I'll just put a little video tutorial uh, link in the comments so you can sort of follow along that way. It's very easy. So, okay. Um, and just quickly, there's a an extra savings uh, available for anyone who is interested. It's obviously optional, but obviously nice. Um, the Forever Club is an option for saving 5% on your blanket. And then of course, anything else that you might want to make with, um, with design and print as well. So that would be blankets and and photo memory books and uh, oh there's ornaments and cards and invitations and um wow like so many things <laughs> plus um you also can save five percent if you buy forever storage which is permanent photo video and audio storage if you um are interested in artisan digital scrapbooking software you would save five percent on that uh digital art that goes with it and also the forever box which if you have like old VHS tapes or um, film or slides or old photos that you want scanned or whatever, the forever box is, is how you do that. And it's awesome. A uh, couple of things to know about club. If you decide to <clears throat> do that for the savings, it's available in $30, $60, $125 and $300 increments. You can combine them if you want. Like if $90 is your sweet spot, go for that. It does auto renew monthly, which is really nice for when you, um, for all your memory keeping, right? That, that first bullet point lists so many things that you can do with it. So, um, it's really nice to auto renew monthly, but if you just want to make a blanket and save 5% with that, uh, that's fine. You can just join the club for one month and just cancel right after that. And then one other perk about it is that if you are at the same club club level for three months, you actually get, um, 
a gigabyte or more or a little less, depending on your amount of free uh, forever storage for your photos and videos and such. So uh, that's once you've purchased some, but it's a really great um, thing to have access to with club. I do that. I bought some forever storage and then I just keep taking pictures and that, that free storage that I get um, every three months kind of keeps up with my, my photo taking. So I don't have to buy anymore, which is really nice. Okay. So let's um, get onto the blankets. So we are going to uh, choose templates, which is, which is going to make it super fast. But if you want some more flexibility and you want, kind of want to design your blanket yourself, there is another method that I will mention. Um, I don't usually do use it um, during our Fast Fun Fridays just because it takes a little longer because you can be so creative. <laughs> but if you do want to do that, um, go ahead after our, our 30 minutes is up today and keep keep making your blanket. You will be so happy with it. With Artisan, it's digital scrapbooking software. You can design the blanket yourself. You um, purchase digital art collections and the software itself at the Forever website. I can um, put a link to that in um, the comments here. I'm just writing that down, Artisan link. Um, for those of you here live and um, a link in the comments for those watching the recording. So Artisan is designed for a PC, but you can use a partitioning program if you have a Mac. There are the same blanket styles and sizes available when you make it with Artisan. It's just that you're designing yourself, it yourself. So we'll look at blanket sizes and styles here shortly. But before we do, I really want to show you my blanket. Uh, this I designed in Artisan. And even though it's pretty, it's pretty basic, it's not, it doesn't look like a digital scrap page or anything like that like I could have done. But the main reason that I made this blanket using Artisan is that I wanted to use an Irish looking font for my computer. And when you use Artisan, you can use whatever fonts you have on your computer. So, and I like to go finding fancy fonts. So I was absolutely blown away. I just want to tell you at the print quality, when this blanket came in the mail, the colors were, are so vibrant. And I'm going to show it to you here in a second that I almost cried. It is that beautiful. It's so wonderful. And I got it as a gift. The recipe actually did cry. So I'm telling you, it's that, that beautiful. There are a couple of different options for blankets, which I'll show you here in a second, but this one is a plush blanket, meaning it's super soft. So I'm going to, um, and I love it. And the recipient loves that as well. So I'm going to stop my screen share here really quickly um, to show you this blanket. So it's big. It's big enough. I'm not going to be able to show you on the whole screen unless I back way up, but, um, I just, it's so, so, so soft and the print quality is just amazing. So let me see if I can do it in half here for you or so. I mean, it looks like pictures. My my father saw this and thought that I took all these pictures off of the internet because it looks so good on this blanket, but these are actually just my own pictures. So, all right, there we have it. So that is how beautiful the blanket is. So let me um, jump back over to my slides. <clears throat> Okay, so um, artisan is one option. <clears throat> so let's get to it. Blanket specifications. Uh, think about what you want to choose here, guys. Um, we have three different sizes. The 30 by 40 is kind of what we call the baby blanket. And then there's a 50 by 60 and a 60 by 80. And all three of those are available in vertical or horizontal. So you can, <clears throat> it would be 50 by 60 or 60 by 50, <laughs> right? Um, and then you can choose plush, the plush fleece, which I chose, which is so soft and I love it, or the mink Sherpa. And then, and those are available in the regular blankets. <clears throat> then the outdoor blanket that you see here on the right <clears throat> has a plush front, like the one that I just showed you. It's really, really soft. And then the back is a water resistant Oxford cloth. And so it's, 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 that's what, what makes it an outdoor blanket. Sometimes people call it a stadium blanket. And then you can see there, uh, right up here where my mouse is, that it 
the outdoor blanket also comes with a nylon carrying handle, which is super convenient. Um, and then just so you know, all blankets are machine washable in cold when you tumble dry on low. Okay, so let's look at a few ideas here. <clears throat> So these are um, a few of the design and print templates. These are templates that have been uh, professionally designed. And then you just go and choose which one you like the best and you personalize it. All right. So again, we've got that t-shirt blanket over here at the left, which I think is so cool. Um, and then this one for baby first 12 months photos, which is lovely. And then this one is just a... Um, like senior photos, you know, you can showcase any types of photos on these blankets. Here's one that's a Christmas one. Here's one that's a family one. And then here is a sports one. Now, um, one thing that I want to mention, we're going to go over to the website and I'll show you how to kind of go through the templates. But one thing that I definitely want to mention is that when you see a template and the um, the little folded over part is white, like this one at the left and the one in the middle. That means it's an indoor blanket. That's going to be your plush um, fleece and your mink sherpa, right? And then the ones where it shows the corner folded over and it's black, that's that black Oxford cloth backing. This is going to be a template for a um, an outdoor blanket or a stadium blanket. So just keep that in mind. All right, so let me get over there and show you at the website. So this will be, after you've opened your forever account, this will be the first thing that you do. Okay, here we are at the forever website. So once you are here and you've logged in, um, <clears throat> you will hover over right here where it says create and print. And then, you will find down here under photo gifts all the way at the bottom you will find blankets so click on that and this is where you will um find your find the template that you like and oh i'm glad this is um there is this little note right here because i forgot to tell you that um blankets and and everything at forever is on sale 35 to 50 percent off all the time. So the sales change all the time, but it's going to be somewhere between 35 and 50%. So just keep that in mind um, as you're ordering. Um, you can come up here. You see my where my mouse is and it says deals. Click that and it'll show you what's on sale um, right now. Okay. So a couple things about finding a template before we get to making our blankets. So once you have, you know, selected blankets, you're going to see a different, a few different ways that you can um, filter and, and just find exactly what you want. If you want, you can just scroll down and start looking and just see all the available templates, okay? If you want to uh, not see everything, <laughs> there are a couple of different options for that. So first, um, you can filter by the orientation. If you, if you want one that's like a portrait, uh, orientation or landscape orientation or whatever, that's fine. You can also um, filter by material. Like if you specifically only want to see outdoor blankets or the fleece or whatever, the plush, and then you can filter by design, size and design color if you want to do that. You can also over here filter by themes. If you want something that's travel related or kids and babies or wedding or anything like that, you can filter that way. If you have like two pictures that you want, then you can filter just that way. Or I don't want any pictures. I just want like a name or something or 12 photos, right? You can filter that way. <clears throat> there are some that are featured, which you could filter that way. And then if you want to do a search for like winter, you're going to see these that come up. Or if you want to do um, love, these are the ones that are going to come up and et cetera, right? And don't forget the ones, like I mentioned, the ones that have the, the fold over that's white, like this, all we need is love, right? Um, that's white on the back. That's an indoor blanket. And then the ones that have this um, fold over corner that's black is an outdoor blanket. Okay, so let me just give you an example of what this is going to look like. So let's say I decide I want to make this love grid blanket. I click on it. I choose my size. I choose if I want um, fleece or Sherpa. I can also change the color if I want. <clears throat> but then I'm going to click personalize. All right. Now it's going to open up in my little editing window. And um, anything that has a 
uh, what is that color? Blue teal around it is a, uh, what do you call it? A, a text box, right? So you just, you just type in whatever you want in the text box. So this one's cute because it says we love and then, you know, personalized information here. But if you just didn't want, if that's not the message you want, then you can change this text box and these two. This love is part of the design. So that's just going to be there. Um, so let me show you a couple of things just in preparation for you making your own blanket here in a second. Colors. If like this is eh, tan cream kind of, right? And if I want to do something else, I have all these different colors to choose from. You notice that most of them are solid, but some of them are not. So if you wanted to change it to look like that, you could, or this, or blue or whatever, right? You can just change it that way. Um, let's say, actually, let me do it down here. We love, we'll say mom and dad. Um, it, and it, it, if I just click save changes, it'll look exactly like it did before, but hopefully you noticed that you can change the font and the size and the alignment and such too. So those are your options there. All right. So let me show you quickly how to put a, a picture in. So you can see all of these they have a little icon picture that has a plus, right? So click on one of those and it will take you to your, um, photos that you have uploaded, uploaded into your forever account. So this is just my, my demo account as a, as a forever ambassador. I get one of those, which is cool. So I'm going to go with, let's do a beach theme here. And then I click this, I'm going to do this. All right. Now, um, once you have put a picture in and then you click on it, you can uh, change it a little bit if you want. Like if I want to really zoom in on these, on these flowers, I could click enlarge, enlarge, enlarge a couple times. And then once it gets bigger, I have a little more space to actually like move it around. There we go. And same thing here. If I just want to enlarge it and scoot it over a little or whatever, um, I can. If I decide, oh, I really don't want that picture, I can replace it. It'll take me back to the photos that you just saw. <laughs> if I want to flip the picture, I can do that this way, right? So um, you can add filters. There's black and white, um, red eye removal and such. So uh, again, you just click the little plus. You choose your photo. And then from there, you can adjust it within that space. Now, if you start making your blanket and you're like, oh, shoot, I really need some pictures that are that are the other orientation, you can actually just come over here and click designs and it'll take you right back to all those designs that you saw before. So if you're like, mm, maybe this one doesn't work for me, it'll just take you to um, be able to choose another template. And then again, if you click options and decide, well, maybe I want the bigger one or, you know, whatever. Um, you get back to the the sizes and the um, materials. Anyway, once you're done, you you can see it down here um, at the bottom underneath the blanket. It says preview. So it will you just click that and it'll show you a preview just to make sure you know nothing important is cut off or whatever. And then once you're done with the preview, X out of there and then just click add to cart and you are done. And you have made a blanket which is going to be soft and wonderful and amazing in 30 minutes or less. All right, so you guys, let's get to it. I'm gonna turn off the recording here and um, just start logging into your forever account and we will get going.